Now that we've added users to our application, let's take a look at what we can do with the data tab. With the user data type, let's add some fields. Fields are a way to describe characteristics for your data type. This is where you save data for a given entry. A field can be text, number, date, or a variety of other options. If we wanted to capture a username, we would make a field on our user data type and name it username and have it be field type text. If we wanted to store the age of the user, we would make a field called age and have it be field type number. This is because whatever data we enter for this field, we are now setting an expectation of what it must evaluate to. The age field cannot contain text because it is explicitly expecting a number. Let's create a new data type. For this example, we'll call it product as if we are customizing our application to become a store. Let's define some fields for our product data type. Our product should have a name, so field type text. Let's also add a price, so field type number. And let's make a yes no, so we can track if it's in stock or not. Now that we have some characteristics of our product, we've successfully made a custom data type. Navigate to the app data sub tab. On the left-hand side, you will see the data types in your app. By selecting one, you view all of the entries, or things, our app has for that data type. By clicking on all users, we see all of the users in our database. Note that this is our development database, so entries we view here will not appear live. To see our live database, click here. If you are familiar with spreadsheets, app data will feel right at home. If we wanted to see all of our products, we click to view all products but looks like we don't have any yet. So let's create one. When we add a new entry, we see the inputs for the fields that we made for our data type. From here, it's just manually fill in the blank. Give the product a name, a price, and if it's in stock. Once we create this, watch it appear right here in our app data. We can then edit and delete it accordingly. In the next lesson, we're going to look at all of this in action and see an example experience that you can build for your users.